Hello good people, today I am going to show you how to set proxy to your react.js frontend. So uh, currently uh, this project I am showing uh, my this project because uh, configuration and frontend backend API so it um, needs lots of time. So I am just uh, showing how to set proxy your react.js project. Currently uh, my uh, API request uh, is showing like that. So every time uh, this URL, this is um, Python Django backend, Python Django backend, this is uh, the URL, then API URL um, should be API uh, slash something. So this is API request. So everywhere I am using like this. So front end is uh, like this. Okay, so this data came from the Django backend. So I need to set proxy in this React.js project. So what I should to do? We need to configure this proxy uh, in white um, uh, config.js file. So how to set this? So uh, import define white. That's good. Uh, react from byte react that's good then then server uh, then we need to define port so i am using 8080 instead of 800 so this is the URL port 8000. Uh, so I am changing it to 8080. Then proxy. Proxy. Slash API. Then we need to define target so target is which, which url uh, we get from the data so our um, url is this one okay so target url this one then change origin change origin true sorry true then rewrite path then path dot replace then we need to use a regular expression uh, regular expression uh, this sign you can find on the shift uh, 6 API slash then API. So everything is working, servers is restarted. Then we need to change the URL in here uh, like. Okay. Uh, OK, 
okay i made mistake in here okay so everything is working fine now we check it here just to reload so now uh, if you check it here the url is already changed 8080 but if you change the url in here you need to configure your backend to if you um, use course header or course origin policy uh, then you need to must configure this url into your backend also otherwise it won't work so this url not or though we already change so previous url is uh, this one that's uh, default byte react js url and we change it to localhost uh, 8080 okay so now data is working um, properly so thank you for watching